I have officially have so many questions regarding this weekend, but I have rested long enough. And I decided to do this to do this little horror game thing. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit late, late because apparently I had to edit one of my videos for a game that I plan on releasing on my YouTube channel. And I forgot to mention, I didn't get to do much for <laughs> anything, really. I had originally planned on streaming yesterday, on Friday. Although, unfortunately, I had to do a favor that costed me about six hours. Three hours driving towards very far out of town to pick up uh, one of my relatives' vehicles drop their arm, them off, then try to help them drive back three hours to home, which is a really long-ass time. So, a total of six hours, well, at the end of that, I got myself a pizza, and then that's more rewarding than that, though. Although there were problems. Very much problems. Like, we were in the middle of a thunderstorm, which kind of put more stress on my truck and theirs. Either way, I think I'm good for now. Am I good? Alright, <clears throat> since my PC is not even near my uh, console, I had to do this on my mobile to check out anything, really. So, hey, go, hey guys, my name is Forever2, and welcome to Made of Skur. Although I had planned on recording this, I forgot to figure out how to record this from separately, so... Hmm. And I have been comfortable playing horror games as of this year. Because I never really do play horror games, mostly. Anyway, this is Made of Skur. <clears throat> you could say it's a survival... I can't say Victorian-aged uh, horror game where you play as a composer who received a letter from his beloved to come and visit uh, her home at this island named Skur Island. And already you can tell things have gotten, from what you can tell from the letter, things have gotten bad. How? I have no idea. So I'm going to be doing is streaming this for at least two hours, because it is like almost four o'clock, and I don't want to stay up streaming. And I do plan on playing some Fortnite to catch up on some quests. Do I want to stream it? Maybe, maybe not, but I'd rather stream it in the morning rather than the evening. So I could catch up on my favorite streamers. So, let's go with this. Of course, this thing has the manual save, no... Okay. I just pray to God that this doesn't crash my game. <laughs> A lot. As you guys have known, I don't chat a lot. 
Plus, I'd be very busy with uh, uh, my first two days of the weekend, so I won't be able to be on Monday or Tuesday. Not sure if I could be there on Wednesday either. Hmm. Also, if you liked my channel, or if you liked my YouTube channel for, to them, to my YouTube viewers, you can probably go ahead and check out my uh, streams some time to time, even though they may not be there because I don't stream a lot, a lot. But I do like to stream horror. I do like to stream some random games if I could try. To. All right, here we are again. I. In the main menu here. What are the challenges? I want to check those out. What is this? The Long Night, In Darkness, Acts of Kindness, Nightmare at the Hotel. That's about it. Hmm. Escape the Hotel. Recommended start a challenge. Full array of weapons at your disposal. Lives are limited. And you get three chances. So this is basically... Escape the Hotel. Holy crap. Mm hmm. Okay, then. I think I'm good for here, I guess. I never. I did start off at the game long uh, before, but I never really gotten around trying to go through the game. So, let me see if I can find out when this game was released. Hmm. Oh yeah. Three years ago. And 2020, I believe. Nice. First person to fly horror? Nice. The game is set in 19... I mean, 1898. On an imaginary island called Skur Island. So yeah, let's start a new game, Ben. Hmm, I could stay safe, easy, or normal. Hmm, I'm always gonna go to normal. Hmm. I'm gonna go with normal. Cause why not? Hmm. <clears throat> right. All right. I think I'm good for now. There we go. Dearest Thomas, these are not words I wish to write. My father has learned of our plans, my love. Yet there what is more, that? far worse, that I wish you to understand, but I fear you may believe me taken with madness. My father seeks to use me, as I have come to believe he used my poor mother. He wishes me to sing him as she did to become the star Damn. attraction that will draw good folk to this accursed spit of land my refusal to do so has led to my confinement here at scare hotel i cannot explain further but ask that you trust me i beseech you to compose a melody for me a counter to the song contained within this locket of my mother's i realize this request will seem strange that your first thought will be to come straight here but without your composition, all hope of holding back the darkness gathering here will be lost. Your love, always, Elizabeth.
Okay. Dim on kalon mi lan al gandu. None but a pure heart can sing. Oh, but so Alright. <clears throat> I once did play um, Evil Within, but I've never gone through it. I've only gone through two chapters, I believe, but i never really gone through with it because I'm not that lucky when it comes to survival horror. But I am confident that I would want to try to play Resident Evil. If you guys want me to see me in... Uh, doing Resident Evil from the beginning to all the way to the uh, recent. Let me know in the comments in YouTube. Also, let me comment. Let me know in the chat. Okay. The music sheet. Uh, Thomas Evans. Oh boy. Okay, we got our music sheet. I believe we have arrived on the island. Mm hmm. Now I can take any money. Can I take my bag? A violin. No? Really? Nothing? Alright. Wow. Oh. The gall of people just stuffing their bags in the hallway. Alright, see, so we got inventory, a music locket, and a music sheet. That's the only thing we got here. Anything here? Control's a bit sensitive, but. They should have fixed it. Right, let's look around here. Hmm. <clears throat> Grand reopening Skirm Hotel. Special performance by Elizabeth Williams. That would be the, um, my beloved, who sent me this letter. Uh, the new maid of Skur, daughter of famed singing sensation Prudence Williams, enjoying the restorative peace and spa waters of Skur Point. 30th October 1897. Okay. It looks like the station has been abandoned. Not sure if that was the door or something out there. If you don't mind me, I like to explore a lot. Okay, I could jog. And if I can tell from the uh, challenges, I do believe the game has uh, a lot of stealth mechanics. Okay. So we're at Skur Island near the Irish Sea. I think I may be somewhere in the United Kingdom. Or Britain. Or Ireland. I'm not sure. Alrighty there. Keep a move on. I have half my controller has half a battery, half battery power left here, so I ain't gonna waste it. So let's see, Skur Hotel and Skur Point, both that way. <clears throat> I should probably hurry. Now I'm guessing the. I'm guessing the music will have some sort of significance to play in the game itself. Beware of the dog. What a lovely singing voice. 
Okay, so that's just covered in the vines and I can't get through. I guess I have to go this way. Take the long route. Anything really. Let's see. Anything here? No, I'm just a tree. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, looks like what do I find here a photo. That must be Prudence and Elizabeth, I believe. And what does it say? Oh, it's a music composition. Okay. I do believe there might be puzzles in this game. Not too sure. How am I gonna? And it was in no small part due to my newfound fame and fortune that we were able to open Scare Hotel and embark on the charitable work which Mother? Mother! Darling, can't you see I'm recording? What have I told you? Never to interrupt when the door is closed. I'm sorry, Mother. Well, no harm done. I shall record this again later. But while you're here, my darling, why not sing for me? Okay, so I think phonographs are also count are both are both save points and some sort of recordings. Like audio logs. <clears> hmm. <throat> and I know there might be puzzles in this game, like you can have to try to find to figure out in the log. Hmm. Be sure. I don't think there's any significance to using the piano, but it is an interactable. Hmm. I'll have to figure that one later in my other walkthrough, so let's just move on. Alcars, anything here? Notes. More music sheets. So I'm going to head to the hotel here. Oh, look at that small little pond or small little lake. Looks pretty pretty, honestly. I have to hand it to the developers of this game. They got nice design. Elegance. this down. Sewer, maybe? Mm, who knows? What the hell? What is that? What the hell? What is that? Alright, that was a strange ball of light that kind of looked like it was absorbing something from the lake. I thought it was my imagination. Let's just call it our imagination. We just seen nothing but hallucination. This 
get through the introduction. Alright, looks like we're past that unopened gate. And what it says? Nope, we're good. Alright. And lo and behold, there's another gate. Look at this, guys. Skur Hotel. And the song, too, it's like louder now. A bit louder. And we found our switch here. Let's look inside for any anything here. Why is my controller vibrating when I step on something? I don't know. Either way. Let's open the gates. Oh, barely open, but let's look around here first. I may not find anything here, but it doesn't hurt to explore, right? That's what most of these games are about, is just exploration. So you can find anything interesting and find any clues or... This looks like a carriage. It's a carriage. I honestly, on a certain angle, I thought it looked like a, a vehicle. But then it get oh it is look at that it's got a steering wheel so maybe it is a uh, a vehicle I don't know I don't see an engine so I might assume it's a, a, a sort of carriage but this is a steering wheel I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore no idea I'm just making some sort of dumb assumption. Again, if you like the channel and my content, just be sure to follow me. Follow this channel. You don't have to sub for this channel before I have not no emotes yet. I am no artist. Beautiful fountain. Can I open this door or anything at all? No idea. Look at the grand reopening. But it looks so abandoned. Like, it is very abandoned. Alright, so, let's go ahead and go inside. <laughs> that I get. Phonographs are at the safe points. <clears throat> Power left. Alrighty then. Still in the middle of the day. We are finally inside the hotel. And not the great shape it's in. For such a grand reopening, it looks doesn't look grand to me. Okay. Alright, we got a map here. Alright. Objective is to answer the phone. Alright, so I see a couple of errors that is locked. And... There's the phone. There's something in the corner. Lo and behold, there's the phone. 
In love and memory of Prudence Williams, 1852 to 1894, the Maida Skur, may your song live on forever. Hmm. I don't know if she's quite the star. Well, singers are. All right. It's Thomas. Is that you, Elizabeth? Thomas! My Thomas! You do not know how wonderful it is to hear your voice. Hmm. What happened here? I do not have the words or heart to voice it. It is far too terrible to recount. Please be careful, my love. This place is no longer safe. I can tell. The letter said... I prayed that you received it, hoped that you would come. I know my request must have seemed strange, and I fear it was all for naught, that everything has changed now. And last question is, where are you? I'm safe upstairs, but I cannot leave the attic. I've had to lock and bar the door, hide away from the others. Who? Who are you hiding from, Elizabeth? My father and uncle. The staff. They have been beguiled by the darkness that inhabits this place. They are no longer themselves, but stalk these halls, attacking anyone that makes a sound. Please, Thomas, listen carefully. Together we can put a stop to all of this. My father made recordings on brass cylinders of a song, a strange melody that affects the mind. If all of the cylinders are played together on the harmonium, this madness will end. You need to find them mm -hmm. and bring them to me. Alright, so we have an update object, object, uh, an objective. <laughs> Alright, so... Looks like a ventilation grate. That's what it shows on the map here. I don't think we have the tools for it. Can we use the phone again? You must find all of the brass cylinders. Brass cylinders indeed. Alright, so... Let's take a look around. Hmm... Okay. We've unlocked an area. It's fine here. So let's look at the objective is to investigate the hotel and look around for brass cylinders. What is this? Uh -huh. I think I might have done good here. What was this? I had an extra map. Thank goodness. So, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so... Another ventilation system that cuts off to an area. And... Right. I don't have a source of light, which is unfortunate. I am very, very, very tense right now. I don't usually like these types of games, but... Here I am. Doing this on normal. Okay. Well, look at that. My batteries are low. Alright, grand reopening, dress rehearsal, preparation of grand harmonium... Higher additional staff, soundtrack, stage preparation, print bills, flyers from main event on 30th, decorations, hun uh, bunting, and banners, additional chairs, order more bottles of wine, shipment of caviar. Found a first of the journal. You know Give me a moment. I... <clears throat> Pluck this. There we go.
I'm gonna give the controller a few minutes to charge. And I'll figure things out from there. Well, let's just say that I won't be able to leave this side anytime soon. I'm just gonna try to get myself a wee bit comfortable. All right, I'm back and trying to figure out where am I going from here. Queen Victoria, a Welsh dragon, square hotel itself. The British Bulldog. <laughs> what has happened here? What has happened in this lovely hotel? Diver suit. Hmm. Hmm. Don't think I can do anything about this here. Hmm. West Wing, which is locked. We can poke around the doors, figure out which is locked. Here. Found an organ. Alright, and that's not wine. Resist is song. I'm guessing during the grand reopening, I think who her father is have tried to play some sort of musical melody that caused some sort of discord <laughs> among its guests. Alright, let's see. I think things will happen as soon as I find this first um, cylinder, I think. Uh, 
I don't like the extra creaking. Alright, another save. seems to be like a very horrible person if he beats up a dog. And that must be you. With that blood, dog blood covering cane of his. Isaac Williams, I think. Okay. Nothing much here. So far as my, my stick sensitive stick is holding. Alright. Fuck? Well, they, uh, who's there? Who are you? Who am I? My name is Thomas Evans. Who's that? Henry. Henry Hughes. You must get me out. Hurry. We must get this door open. Why did they lock you in here? Why do you think? They're clearly <laughs> rogues. They're trying to kidnap me. Please, hurry. Do something. I guess I'll try to find a key. What? No! No, don't leave me! They might return any minute! Oh, do something! I can't break it down from my side! Stand back. Good. Good. Try again. I don't think it's gonna work. man! Throw yourself into it! Shut up, Sam. They're coming. Oh God, please, no! No, don't do this! Whatever you want, I... Ooh. I think I better run. That does not sound good. I think we may have found our first encounter. And we may... Get our first encounter sooner than later. Hmm. I hear something. What is that? A music doll. I guess I found a first collectible, apparently. What is this? Looks like a power fuse. Supposedly. Nothing. Guess it's some sort of pathway, I think. To where? Better rush back. All right, I may have short circuited something, or the fact that someone deliberately pulled down the switch. And someone must have come out of there. Well, that's blood right there. And of course. And of course, there's that same key. I might go into that elevator in a little bit. I'm gonna go back and see. If I could get into that other room there. So far so good, I have not encountered any enemies. 
whatever they may be. A chapel, I find, and there's that strange light again. And there it went. William's Family Bible. <clears throat> Canst thou draw Leviathan with a hook, or his tongue with a cord which thou let lettest down? Canst thou put a hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make any supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou take him for a servant forever? Wilt thou play with him as with a bird? Or wilt thou bind him for thy mistress? Shall she make a banquet of him? Shall she partake? Shall she partake of him among the others? Canst thou fill his skin with hot iron? Job forty one. Therefore I will wail and howl, and will I will go stripped and naked. I will make a waiting I will make a wailing like the dragons, and mourning as the sirens. Micah one eight. Okay. Another one for the journal. Oh look at that statue. I don't have a key for it. Or oh, I assume he put some key in it. The Lord is bright. Too bright for my liking. What is this? A chair? That must be it. Cerberus Cylinder. And that stopped the song. Ooh. So that's what I've been hearing. Alright. Ding. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to assume if I pulled... Yeah, that's the first cylinder. And what am I going to do? I think I better get back to the first save. I'm gonna get back to the first save and uh, save there. And if, any, if I'm gonna be chased by someone or something, I'm gonna have to be ready. I'm going to save again, just in case. Okay. Okay, um Okay, there's the other side of the door. Maybe. What's the point in this room then? To hide or? I can't open the doors. Probably nothing. I guess my only option is to go to that elevator then. Give me a moment. No thanks, motion blur. 
Oh, no wonder I couldn't see much. There we go. It's a little bit better. Hmm. I guess I'm meant to go down here in the elevator then? We'll go down to level B, I guess. I think I should pretty much search everything. Alright, it looks like I'm in level 2 in the basement. Another safe room. Just what I need. And that is Abraham Willings? Williams? might find out later in the game and that is Abraham Williams he's built I can tell you that it looks built in the portrait I can't imagine if I encounter the actual thing Is a big man, <laughs> and we are hurt bad. How do I heal? What's my objective? Follow the men. I don't want to. I don't want to. It feels like I'm hurt very bad. Okay. Looks like that way's blocked off. And I think we may have encountered our first enemy. Or at least, our first threat. Okay. That's another key. 
Ah. Bloodwind's nervous tonic. <sighs> right. To calm our nerves. Right. A dollar twenty nine. Oh wait, eleven. I can't even read that. I honestly cannot. I'm quite the distance from my uh, glasses or from the TV screen. Anything here? Oof. I don't like my odds. I really, really do not like my odds. Alright. Isaac's Ledger, Deaths and Disappearances. <clears throat> Date description amount uh, June 11th, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wayne's, Wayne'scomb. I hope I said it right. Wayne'scomb? Elderly couple, no children, exter Devon, uh, clothes, uh, two six, trinkets, two third. Uh, 13th of June Reverend Alistair Gray Charlatan Cheltenham Unlikely to be missed Fire again Nothing salvageable August 3rd Mr. Victor Williamson Merchant Traveling alone Bristol Clubs uh, Two Something Trickets Two something uh, 24th of September, Mr. Ernst Sharp, test subject. Interesting. Painter, traveling alone. Rye, East Sussex. Clothes, third, trinkets, second or two days? I'm not too sure. Maybe it's two days or three days. I'm not too sure. I, I, like I said, not too sure. Uh, 27th of September, Mr. and Mrs. Matthews, test subjects. Retired clerk, Winsford, Cheshire. Uh, August 3rd. October the 3rd. M Arthur Morris. Test subject again. Musician traveling alone. London. And s s October 7th. Matilda Norton. Musician traveling alone. Bristol? Another musician. Asking too many questions. Very evasive. Why? Hmm. interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. I'm gonna go this way, see if there's anything over here. As of note. Any light that we use? Locked. Another music doll. And nothing else. I am very nervous right now. Sounds like a phone. I'm gonna close this behind me just in case. I guess I have to go this way though. I 
Who's on the phone? Is it a break in here? Oh, another map. Thank goodness. Okay, let's see. Another hidden area behind the blocked up area. Guess I have no choice but to go this way. I get to somewhere over there. Along this pathway. Right where the big old, big, uh, big, very muscular person is walking, carrying a dead body. Looks like a brewery. Alright, Elizabeth, are you there? Are you safe? I'm here. There was someone else in the attic outside the door, but uh, I think they've gone now. Elizabeth, there is another man here. Do you know him? I don't. But you must look to yourself first, Thomas. If you should be caught too... They it seem might to be not drawn happen. to sound. You must remain quiet. Right. Dear God, that's horrific! I dread to think of you being snatched like that, too. Our one hope of helping him, helping all of them, is finding the cylinders. The ones who took the man, they can't see, it seems. But why? What do you think is wrong with them? I, I knew noise attracted them, but what happened to their faces? I don't want to know. I've managed to find one of the cylinders. Well done, my love. There's hope yet for us all. The others should be here in the hotel or in the grounds. Oh, this place is big. I, Please, I figured. take the utmost care. And if I don't answer, it means I've had to hide. That they've come back. Okay, so... We still gotta follow them in. And I don't think I can move the cursor or anything to uh, move the map. Alright, so we got a few areas to look for. Mm, I know I may have missed a few things. I think I missed a few, a few things. Let's see. Nothing of significance. Let's move on. Out for a moment. Maybe because it's battery ran out. As I said before, I'm going to pause the stream for the bit. And have this uh, uh, battery recharge for a few minutes, so be right back.
Okay. All right. Took a few minutes long, but I managed to get to it in time. Yeah, I brought my some brought me some glasses so I could see a little bit better. All right, so where was I? Brewy, we're probably trying to follow whoever that guy is. Took this dead dude's body. Ooh, what the hell? What are these bodies? But, we got our, uh, third music box. Hmm. Anything really? Alright. Lots of blood. I'm gonna assume those are the guests. I guess we gotta sneak in, I guess, across. We're strong. <laughs> Alright. I believe these are just hitting walls here, I think. I believe that's our first enemy encounter. Oh boy. They can't see. They are blind. And they are attracted to the sound. So yeah, stealth mechanic. So yeah, stealth. Good lord. So, what's this way? Nothing, apparently. Nothing. Think over here. I will go the other way. I like to find all the secrets if I can. And that way is blocked off, so I had to go the other way then. Right. Something musical right there. There's someone in here. And unfortunately, there's something in here as well. What is that? Music sheet Henry Hughes. We found Mr. Hughes.
Yeah, stealth is very important in this game. Upstairs, then. I think it might be a bad idea to sprint while we're doing this. Right. Well, it looks like we're outside then. Yeah, nothing much. Okay, now we're outside. And I just want to try to get through this for two hours. Maybe. Maybe even more. I'm not sure. I'm not that big king of trying to find all the collectibles, but I am frustratingly tenacious when it comes to collectibles. Because most endings of the game depend on finding collectibles. Or all the secrets. Or every single secret. No, I hear whispers of the Williams family and their evil deeds they have committed. There's too much circumstance to suggest, to, to suggest that they are not honest men. The leader of these criminals, Jebediah Williams, the head of the Williams family, they are more than humble fishermen with deep pockets. It is unusual and suspicious. I am sure they are the cause of the missing ships around Skur Island in recent years. The poor lost souls of each vessel's collateral for lining their pockets. Hidden on their land, I am going to find the truth. The rumors must have some morsel of truth to them. The Williams family are smugglers, wreckers, and murderers. I will expose them and their good people will know the truth. Okay. I'm not sure if there's any more. There are not. I have to stay quiet for the most of the time. I'm not 
sure if there's any more secrets there. I'm sure I could find them. Here goes nothing. I gotta say, I love the music in this game. I guess uh, my character has asthma. Here's a dog. It's a dog that we saw. Anything here? I guess nothing. I'm just overly curious about things here. We don't have any maps of this place, do we? Probably not. Why not? <laughs> Look around. Cemetery. That's good enough. Mm hmm. I can't open this. That looks like an elevator, though. Noticeable is that little tombstone here, right there. I might take a look at that. That's prudence. It says prudence. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the last chance to look around. See if I find anything here. Probably not. I don't think there is. Might as well just go ahead and take a look at that. Rooted volumes. I knew it. Oh shit. Is that those two? Okay. Cover your mouth. He's already near you, buddy. to these people.
Okay. You're down. And honestly, I was hoping I could make it for a few hours, but I think because my battery controllers are Ooh. And we are pierced and injured. Keep the glass in our wrist. Boy, that's not good. Ooh. All right, that ain't good at all. All right. Let me see if I can find a safe spot. And... Can I take this lamp? Or a lantern? I can't take the lantern. That is just dumb. Another note here. All right, Jedi... Jebediah's cult letter. Hmm. <clears throat> Dearest brothers and sisters, this High Council of the Quiet Wounds. I I have to speak like this if I want to read something like this. Like be only because I can't do an Irish one, because I have no idea how to speak with an Irish accent. Hmm. <clears throat> Apologies. Hmm. <clears throat> this High Council of the Quiet Wounds invites you to review in the power from the song of our souls. Together we will attain true control. Be assured to bring your offering of flesh and bone to sacrifice the weakness within. To join us in the ritual of rebirth. Remember your garments of the choir ones to shield from the weak leeches weak leeches of the sacrifice. Our beloved son of disciple Prudence has volunteered for the position of priestess this is high honor. A high honor for us all. Her position will be anointed at our next gathering of the brothers and sisters. Yours quietly, Jebediah Williams. I knew this got even more weirder. Not only I had to deal with something supernatural, I gotta deal with a cult. Like, really, a cult. The quiet ones. I guess they can't talk. They got the veil over them. Alright. Thankfully, there is a phonograph to say. Thank goodness. Any That's all well and good thing to say? That, but I don't see why I shall need your assistance. I like it less than you. I have other jobs need attending. But your father insisted. Make sure she practices. She must be ready. His very words. Be ready hmm. for what? This here uh, contraption is spinning. So go on with you. Start your second. You said be ready for what? Well, um... Well, how should I fucking know my brother's mind? Fucking hell, lass. Are you bloody well gonna sing or what? Oh, fine. <clears throat> wow. Hmm. Okay, so from what I'm getting from this so far is that not only that Prudence is in trouble, she is the daughter of a cult leader whose very power has to come from song. And I believe the melodies and these cylinders that I have on me, like this one right here, is one of these so-called so -called tools. And I do believe so called tools um, for their ritual. I think this, these musical cylinders have to do something with their ritual. So Right. I think I might move on. Alright, let's move on. Before I figure out if there is a secret. Obviously I can't see because I have no source of light. Which, which is why I have no idea. Where is that? That looks like a cage. A 
cage indeed. Alright, let's move on. What are we dealing with? A harpy? No, it ain't gonna be a harpy. It's gotta be something else then. <coughs> Please tell me there's not gonna be anything in here. Alright. Isaac's account of the Etch HMS Providence. That's supposed to be a boat that was missing, I think. Alright. 3rd, February 3rd, 1874. The storm of the, of the century battered the island last night. The men, they say goodbye. They say to have spotted a vessel off the coast. My father has ordered us to extinguish the flames of the beacon. Word from the men informs me that a ship ran aground on the shore coast, east of Skur Point. Myself and all, at the size of this vessel, engraved on a plaque on the port side of the ship, read its name, HMS Providence. 10th of February, 1874. My men, under order by my father, transferred the remains of the ship into the cavern beneath Skur Point. We salvaged what we could from the ship, anything of value, most importantly, the contents of the cargo hold. The next day, something was discovered inside the wreck, buried in the cargo hold, something I've never seen before. It's alive. And in, and in such a tragic state, my father thinks it's fortune that it is weak, for it tries to sing. Unloading the cargo, some of the men have began to act strange in the presences of this creature. Its singing seems to have an effect on them. Even in, in its weakened condition, I find this fascinating and need to take notes. Father is becoming concerned. The more I learn about this mindless creature, it seems that the song it sings lures its prey and so it can devour and survive. My father is beginning to see the potential of this beast and what we can accomplish with its power if we can somehow harness it. 15th February 1874 My father has begun to use this creature's creature upon Skirt Point chained to the beacon to aid in luring vessels here. With this, we can increase our potential earnings from the wrecks. I may have an idea of harnessing this power further. With the help of my beloved Prudence, I will take some time to present this to Father and get his blessing. So, they were once uh, smugglers and ship stealers and wreckers. And all of it is just dumped here. Like, really dumped here. You see gold and silver jewelry? But none of that matters now. But none of that matters now. And I see this thing right here. None of that matters now. Whatever is in this cargo hold is more important than this. Alright. Oh. Alright. Hmm. We don't have a map for this area. No, we do not. But I do see some enemies. Not sure if I can do this. Y'all think I can? I hope I can do it. Let me get comfortable here. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be secrets along here. Here I go. I can tell I'm being near them by breathe by their breathing. I 
think I might die if I hold my breath. Oh. I need something. I need a fuse. They hear my breathing. I gotta get away from them. I pulled the switch to something. <laughs> Chugging hazard. I coughed five times. Okay, that was unnecessary, but funny. Okay, my battery is getting very low in this point. And I think I might have to end this stream at the state, last save point. Maybe not. There's gotta be a pattern to this. This switches. this thing. Okay, they could really charge from where they could hear. <coughs> I can get under this. be in trouble. I must stay in this right here for a bit. I think I got it. 
Right! Okay, now I know what to do. I'm already gone. Oh, right. Leave her. Ah, sucker! <laughs> Alright. I think I've escaped the mines. And where am I at? Alright, I think I'm outside again, up in the surface. Anything here of importance? Yeah. Tonics. Healing potions I need. <laughs> right. There we go. I guess I didn't see the, uh... I didn't see the... Okay, now that's cool. That is... That is cool. Alright. That's a cool locking mechanism. I see there. Alright, um... Let's see if there's anything over here. Probably nothing. Let's take it back. Another music doll. That's another victim. What is he doing? Please, I beg of you. I'll give you anything. Oh no! Is that gasoline? <laughs> Wait a minute, is that why those those guys are covering their faces with rags? Oh my. That area is just on fire like an FNG. That song is playing in their ears. Was that some sort of mind control thing? I'm assuming this. This might have taken a little bit too long, though. Then again, I think streaming it is might be better than recording it, but hey, who am I to judge? Uh. 
Oh yeah. I hope you guys like my Amanda the Adventure playthrough. Cause I am gonna try a uh, try to get it their secrets. Or find it out eventually. So let's see. We have to retreat to the hotel. Alright, we're at the garden area now. Pretty sure we're gonna find others. And I think that area does have the uh I thought I hit the silent button for that one. Okay, so and I do believe the scene that we saw with the guy being burnt his face being burnt does contain the cylinder. How's that door? There we go, another save area. And possibly another recording. Lots of bear traps, though. I... I need to tell someone. Get all of this out. Get this down somewhere. I think My father knows. does not know that I'm making this recording, but I need to confide in. Well, in you, mother. He has been pushing me, pushing me more and more in my lessons to sing as you once did. But there is something else. There's a mania to his actions of late. He seems consumed with his latest scheme to revive the hotel, but it is more than that too. Both he and Abraham have been so agitated of late, and they argue more than before. That sound like it. I overheard them in heated discourse over a guest who had disappeared. I assume without paying. My father was furious that there was nothing that could be salvaged from it. And mother, you have never heard such language. I know our finances are dwindling, and his heart is set on restoring the glory days of Scare Hotel, but... Sets so much on my shoulders. I'm not sure if I can do it, Mother. Mm. I'm not sure if I can be you. I think, uh, from what I figured out and from what I've seen, and what he described in one of his notes, whatever he found in the wreckage that was a living being that has somehow have abilities to control the common person. Or any mind, I believe. And I think Jebediah figured that it's a melody that if he and his wife could copy this so called melody that the creature has used to control the people. I think what Jebediah was wanting to do is he wants to have control by using the creature's song. And if his wife can copy it, so can his daughter, which is apparently my character's beloved. Anyway. Um, and she might have figured things out a bit, but it might be too late. This is why he, she sent me the letter to compose some sort of melody, a compo- a music composition, or something. Another one here. Okay, I see one of the other persons here. Well, hmm. it's almost about. Oh, shit! Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. I'm a retreat. I'm a retreat. Hold your breath for more than 50 times. Well, yeah. Man, that's why, because. I was reading my achievements, by the way. If you don't see it on my screen, that means I'm not pretty much using the, um, thing here. So, I'm gonna save real quick, and I'm going to... Head for that, so... 
I think I'm gonna call it call it a night or a day and to take a break. I'm gonna see if who I can raid. Um So before my battery of my controller runs out Of course, there's not going to be any overlays, so sorry to disappoint you guys if you're going to watch my uh, stream later in a later date. Again, I will say this. If you guys enjoyed my video or enjoyed my stream, go ahead and follow this channel if you want. If you like my channel and my content, just go ahead and follow my channel. And if you're a YouTube viewer, someone who is from my YouTube channel, um, that will be seeing this in my uh, YouTube channel as a FOD. Go ahead and click the subscribe button if you enjoy my content and follow me from there. And of course, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, please do let me know if I missed a few things from where I just went through. And thank you for watching Made of Skirt, guys. I truly enjoyed you watching my content. And of course, you can also check my YouTube channel for more of my content. Uh, if you enjoyed my content, please click the subscribe button to support that channel. I would greatly appreciate it, and I would love for your support. And of course, my, my Twitch channel as well. I will be streaming in weekends only, like Friday and Saturday and Sunday. But it only depends on what I have for the start of the weekdays. I will tell you anyway. I'm going to check real quick and I'm going to tell you this. Okay, so I will be available to post my YouTube videos on Thursday through Saturday. So in other words, I can I can stream it. I will be able to stream on a Thursday or the weekend. So again, before thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys in the new video. Peace out. And I'm going to... That's how I usually say my outros in my YouTube video, so... I'm gonna figure out who to raid. And I will see you guys later. So, I think Ouija Boo's on. Oh, look at that. Just what I need. Um, one of my favorite YouTube, my favorite VTubers and Twitch streamers that, that I see who is online is Ouija Boo. If you guys don't know who Ouija Boo is, if you guys don't know who she is, um, she is a horror VTuber, a boo tuber, a little boo that loves horror games. And right now she is playing Dead Island 2. Oh my god, I love Dead Island. I play this one. I think I might try to play Dead Island as a stream. But I think I might try it to try to get Dead Island 2 from my console. Because it does stream better than my PC does. So thank you guys for watching my streams, my stream, 
and uh, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy my YouTube video as well. So, bye. See y'all later. See you guys probably tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, probably at 9:30 Central Standard Time in the morning. Bye. See you. Have a good weekend.